Hello everybody, it's uh, Jack Felix here. Today I just want to make a rough video showing you guys how I make anywhere between 20 to 40 billion silver a week. Um, now before we start, I just want to apologize if I ruin anyone's money making method. Um, that's not my objective for this video, it's more to show people how I make my money playing video. So yeah, uh, I, I make my money via, via various methods in this game. This includes Imperials, Scrolls, uh, so that's Voodoo slash Pillar Face Scrolls, um, Grinding, so Grinding, uh, so if we have Kalfin Castle, I'll be Grinding Star's End, if we have Olympic Castle, I'll be Grinding Histria, if we don't have Castle, I'll either be Grinding Taros or Golems, and then Cooking, such as making Valencia and Badanos meals and Mandaya meals. Um, enchanting, so this can involve enchanting for accessories, for profit. Um, enchanting gear and um, enchanting boss armors and green and blue gear. Next is the marketplace, so that's uh, looking at what events are coming and what changes are coming and anticipating how that will affect the marketplace. After that is the node empire. Um, I'll show you my node empire later and it's mainly built around um, supplying my cooking of Benos and Valentia and Dye Mills so that I don't need to buy these items on the marketplace um, hope most of the time. After that is field bosses um, which is one of my main sources for Kafiras and silver in the game um, and then farms. Alright so the first thing is Imperials so I'll just show you guys so I have around 400 energy right now um, just wanna, I'll just hide this image here so you can see uh, on the top left the I have um, 400 energy and 400 completion points so that allows me to uh, turn in roughly around about 200 boxes 200 guru boxes a day and so that will give me roughly around about 240 mil a day in Imperials and I, us I usually never miss out on a day of Imperials and if it's 240 mil a day it's roughly around about 1.7 billion silver a week roughly 1.6 to 1.7 billion silver a week um, after that is uh, so yeah for, for the Imperials as well either either do Medi Medial or Banos meals for the Imperials um, and then after that is the scrolls. So I do, I used to do a lot of voodoo scrolls back when Kafra's um, going on the marketplace. Back when Kafra's like max price at three mil with like a couple, uh, like there was like uh, 20, 30,000 orders by Kafra's. I used to do a bunch of scrolls for Kafra's. And I'll show you guys a spreadsheet real quick. Um, so this is the spreadsheet I use can see here for Voodoo Scrolls. Um, I was killing them around 30 seconds timing it and the Kafras have no tax because I'm keeping that for my upgrades and then is you get trash, blackstone armor, blackstone weapon, the pedal which is for tin eye horse materials and hunter seal. So you can, I also value these black stones higher because I don't sell them directly to the marketplace. I could go through that later, but I usually make these into concentrated. So it's roughly around 300 mil an hour for me. Girls. And then for the pillar face scrolls, um, I was, I used to like, I always buy scrolls at low price when, and then I run the scrolls for memory fragments uh, for when they become higher. So like, for example, if when people, when Kakao gave everybody 150 bell stack, I know people are, are going to enhance, right? Therefore, we'll push up the price of memory fragments. And then when they give people Chicago boxes uh, by codes for free, and the most common item in there is 25 memory fragments, that's going to push down the price of memory fragments and then push down the price of scrolls. So it's kind of like a cycle. We just need to see what is a good time to buy or sell these memory fragments and scrolls, right? But roughly, you know, um, make around about 
200 mil an hour doing this and um, it's I like doing scrolls because it allows me to I have two monitors and scrolls is a very AFK activity so I don't really need to pay attention at all to what I'm doing with scrolls so I can like either be watching a lecture from university or tutorial or be a, in a call or like just watching a movie TV show and not really have to pay attention to what I'm doing um, in the game. So, and I, I do a lot of scrolls, so I, I'll usually do anywhere between like five to ten hours of scrolls a day right now, um, just because my exams are over and I have a lot of spare time. So, whenever um, I'm not really life skilling, I'm just mainly grinding like or doing scrolls. Uh, sorry, life skilling or doing scrolls. Uh, so yeah, the next thing is grinding. So with grinding, I usually only grind um, golems and turos right now. But outside of that, when we have castle or grind buff, I will either do I mainly do stars end. And with those spots, the money power roughly comes down to anywhere between two hundred to three hundred mil an hour. If I'm doing golems, then it's like probably around three hundred mil an hour. Um, and I usually grind with my Agoras, so I get around 200k points of Agoras a day, so in a week I get, um, 14, uh, 140k points of Agoras, so generally I'll grind anywhere between like 5 to 10 hours a week, sometimes to have castle I'll grind like 20 hours a week, kind of depends, right? But generally I'll make anywhere between like, I would say we be doing like two to five bill a week from grinding um that scenario so yeah after that is cooking so with cooking i'll just show you guys my calfian storage so you can see that what i have right now is so i have like 70k in jungle hamburgs 56 couscous tef sandwich then I have a bunch of mats for Bionos meals as well. And as you can see, I have 65k lion meat, 15k scorpion meat. So I do a lot of gathering. This go all goes into the meal, right? Um, most of the time, I'll buy some of the sub components, like for example, pickled vegetables, date palm, and fig pie. Because usually, the nodes I have won't give me enough. To supply that many uh, on average I cook anywhere between 100k to 150k about the Valencia or Bernos meals and sell them directly to the marketplace so that will be anywhere between two to four billion silver after tax um, yeah so after that I also do enchanting um, for enchanting I'll show you my main enchanting ult is this guy my Musa so See, I have a bunch of fail. I had a lot more fail stacks on than this before. I had like a lot of 40, 20 stacks. Um, and here I have the fail stacking items. I'll usually. Um, so, what I do enhancing with profit is I usually use the 40 stacks and 20 stacks to make duo or tri accessories. So, either like bassy belts, tongue red rings, or, um, or like crescent ring, right? Um, and then apart from that when like these green armors hit Tet somehow or, like these blue um, Blue weapons hit Tet. I usually <coughs> sell these on the marketplace and people buy these to for fail stacking as well So that's useful um, Then apart from that these dragon slayer Weapons are also use for fail stacking because you don't need memory fragments to repair these you can use uh, an item called um, let me show you it's called a refined black energy residue and you get a lot of um, residue from killing cats for field bosses which I'll go into later but yeah for enchanting I'll make usually make anywhere between I'll say like two to six billion a week depending on my RNG so for example um, two days ago I made two tri bassies and a couple of duo bassies um, so I profited pretty well off that. Probably made like two to three billion in like the span of um, 
in 15 minutes. Um, but that's like very RNG related. Uh, for the on the next step um, is the marketplace. So what I mean by earning earning silver off the marketplace is, for example, buying hards and sharps when they're low in price. So for example, um, when people are given like Chicago boxes. Uh, the Chicago boxes, but like, yeah, when people are given stuff like odds or sharp uh, events where people like where there's abundance of sharps or hards on the marketplace, and I usually buy them when they're low, when they're very low. So, like, sometimes you can see they hit 1.2 sharps, see that sometimes they hit min price 1.45 over the course of three months so i usually buy a lot of hards and sharps at this price and what i do is i make them into concentrateds and i sell these when they are high like around three mil here they're really high and yeah and these are almost always max price so i sell I always make these into concentrates concentrated and i sell those apart from that i also kind of look at the trend the marketplace with events so like for example like grinding events how will grinding events affect the price of accessories on the marketplace for example how will like you know stuff like this the fine accessory box 29th everybody gets this how will this affect the price of ogre rings tongue red earrings and ladens right and then also like enhancing materials how will like last being released or everybody being given high fail stack affect the price of memory fragments right so it goes from 1.5 mil here to like almost 2.15 why did that happen can you understand why this happened you can understand you can make a lot of silver off it of a scenario like this right so what, what i was doing for the longest time is i was always buying scrolls when they were cheap running them stockpiling on memory fragments and selling them when they were high right so that's like some examples of uh, such as like the marketplace how it makes silver. Uh, the next thing after that is a node empire. So I can show you guys my node empire. It's uh, pretty big. Um, like almost all my towns have artisan workers. Like they're all artisan workers. See here. Artis artisan human or goblin workers. And these workers make me anywhere between I'll say 100 to uh, 200 mil a day off the mat, um, node mats so either th like these mats will go directly making the um, Bayonos of Valencia Mediah mills or they're like items I can sell directly onto the marketplace um, or process for example into crates which I can trade in for silver so for example if you look at my old wisdom tree storage I have um, some ingot crates and I'm planning to make some timber crates in the future, but usually I just sell the timber, right? The fur timber, better timber. So yeah, that's around about 100 to 200 uh, mil a day, which comes to around about 700 to 1 bill a week, right? Uh, the next thing after that is the field bosses. So... What I mean by field bosses is like red nose, dim tree, egg, um, gatsva, and mudster. So I do these field bosses all the time when they're up, and they're a really good source of kafras. I get around 200 to 300 kafras a day uh, doing these field bosses. And uh, apart from kafras, you can also get stuff like black stones, accessories, and fell stacks. So if you see in my earlier storage here, I have a lot of weapon bundles. And apart from that, I also have here, you can see you get a bunch of 20 and 30 stacks and sometimes 40 stacks as well. And I use these stacks to enhance with, right? And then apart from that, you also get a lot of black energy residue from Katzva, which I use to make into refine. And I use that to repair my um, Dragon Slayer weapons for Artisan really efficient fail stacking.
So yeah, uh, per week that can come to anywhere between like four to six billion silver a week from those field bosses. If I do them um, actively, which I do right now. And then after that is my farms. So my farms here I have ten old moon farms, and I'm growing magical peppers right now. Most of the time I grow onions as well. Um, but you can see in my storage I have like six. 60k onions, 22k special peppers, and all of these come from the farms. And I use these to make the grilled sausage and the lean meat salad um, for the banos and adaya meals. Um, what I also do is with these farms, I'll get TNI horse material byproducts, and I sell those onto the marketplace for two five mil each. Um, and then also they introduce like a mole event now where you kill it you also get black stones and um TNI horse materials too so it's farming is definitely a really good source of like minimal effort um high profit uh, per day as long as you just take looking after it actively every two hours right um so yeah that's uh i i have i have the mass on the like the calculations on the screen but you can see, if you add these numbers up, I'll make anywhere between 20 to 40 bill a week. Now, in addition to that, uh, there's also some other extra sources of income. So, for example, uh, if you look at some of my previous Road to 700 Gear Score videos, I got three Vales Heart, I think, over the course of one or two months. I got two Vales Heart in a week, I think. And that's like, that three, those three Vales Heart itself is like, um, like 25 bill almost I think and I use that silver to kind of make more silver off the market so I I don't see that as just 9 bill from Val right I see that as possibly 15 bill I just use that silver and then I make I find ways to make more silver with it right um, apart from that like I also if you see in the pearl shop I think last week I went pretty hard, I bought a lot of costumes, like all the 50% off costumes, I kind of wailed a bit, um, and that helped me buy a percentage of the Kafras I needed to get full C20. Um, but yeah, usually I only spend like $100 a month, but sometimes, you know, if I'm really pushing hard, and I was really, I was, I was pushing really hard for the last couple of months to get gear to help my guild become stronger um oh sometimes well for some costumes right uh apart from that i also the layla petals i get from gathering and grinding i use those to tend honey wine and i sell those on the marketplace whoops sorry start this cooking so i'll just show you on the marketplace the honey wine So I sell the sweet honey wine on the marketplace around 1.5, 1.6 million each. Um, so what you do with that is take your fairy petals to the person in Kam Sylvia Temple and you trade in fairy wings for fairies, trading in fairies for honey wine, sweet honey wine. Sell those on the marketplace for well. And in in addition to that, it's like attendance rewards, RNG boxes, uh, Black Spirit Adventure, and guild payouts. So in total, I'll say if I was over the past, you know, couple weeks or month after my exams, I've been consistently making almost 40 billion to a week doing stuff like this. And um, so hopefully that kind of explains things for you guys and makes more sense. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And the last thing I just want to say is I, I wish everybody a happy new year. And I also hope that you guys had a great, Chris, great Christmas as well. And yeah, apart from that, um, I will see you guys next time. Peace.